There's one right there. Yeah, it feels like a good fish. Feels like what we're looking for. I'm trolling out here in some pretty big wind. It get a little tricky. I think the trickiest thing when you're trolling in big wind is controlling your speed. And I'll tell you that I think speed, when it comes down to crankbaiting, ranks right up there as one of the most important things that you need to dial in throughout a day. If you can get a speed dialed in, I'll tell you what you figured out. You figured out what triggers the fish. And if you can figure out what's triggering walleyes, for the most part, you can replicate it over and over and over. Now it might be color, it might be action, but a lot of days it's getting that right speed. And I'm pretty confident that what we're doing here is right now. Another good eater walleye, perfect fish. What I got going, we're dead on with. We've got a color, ooh, look at that, he spit the lure in the net. A lot of times that happens. Great walleye. We've got the right lure, I've got the right color, we're catching fish pretty consistently. And I think part of it is because I got the speed dialed up too. I figured out that about 1.8, that's the ticket right now. If I'm at 1.8, walleyes like that one, they're eating consistently. Now here's the thing, you gotta remember, I've already figured out the right lure. I'm running a wally diver, I figured out the right color and here's how I did it. It's all trial and error. Once I hit a certain speed, I'm catching them over and over and over. And what I'm doing here, I'm running a crawdad wally diver. And I'm ro rolling along at 1.8, but one of the things you want to keep in mind is some crankbaits are not good at various speeds. Some of them aren't really good at slow speeds. Some of them blow out at high speeds. And I think that's one of the coolest things about a cotton cordell wally diver. You can rip this thing along at three miles an hour if you want to. I see guys up on Lake of the Woods behind downriggers on charter boats going two and a half to three miles an hour and they're running wally divers, a lot of them. And then you can roll this thing way down like I'm doing today to that 1.7, 1.8 and you get this beautiful little wobble back there. And what makes it effective is its design. I mean, this wally diver at the end of the day can be fished at any speed. It's got a rattle to it and it's got a perfect profile. I mean, you gotta remember something, the Wally Diver was absolutely one of the first crankbaits ever designed for walleye fishing. This bait was designed by walleye pros and it's been catching walleyes ever since. But one of the biggest things in the design of this bait when it was being built was making it so it could fish at various speeds. And I think that's such a key because day in and day out, when you get dialed into a speed, you get dialed into a color, you get dialed into a lure like we are today, you can just catch fish over and over and over. And man, I'll tell you what, it's, it's just a ball when you get dialed in like that because it's just one after another. And I know I'm just gonna throw this thing out and catch fish again. It's crazy when you get it there, but that's what's so important. So keep in mind, when you're out there trying to get a bite dialed in, play with your speeds and use a crankbait that is tolerable to various speeds, low speeds and high speeds, and it's gonna help you catch more fish.